Well, welcome back one and all. We are working on our Android app, looking like something like this. I'm going to move this over here. Uh, what we're going to try to do is make sure that we take into account uh, feet and inches and pounds, and we want to make sure the information comes in correctly. So, in a BMI calculator, we need to figure out what would be an appropriate number of feet tall someone would be. First of all, it should never be negative. Second of all, we never want to leave that blank. We want it to actually put in their feet. Okay? And then on inches, it's going to be between 1 and 12. Right? Or you could do 0, I suppose. All right. Uh, in the inches, what we could do is we could also not worry about whether they leave it blank or not. But in pounds, they're going to have to put weight in. It can't be negative. So a couple things you want to think about is how do we make sure the information is correct? Because imagine trying to calculate BMI and have it not be correct. Okay, so that's a couple things we're going to do. And so we're going to look at a variety of tools that we have at our use that we can use. And this is all a topic called form validation. Form validation makes sure that the form is valid. So, you know, someone putting in their, their pounds are negative 500. That's not valid, a valid weight. Uh, the other thing is, uh, if you do a little research, you'll find that, you know, you, you're not going to find anyone 10 feet tall or taller. So what we can do is we can require that they're not any taller than 10 feet. And the interesting thing about this is that we can also require that four feet, I mean, for what they enter for feet, they can't leave it uh, blank either. And uh, so the first thing I want to do is I want to try, we started doing this last video. I want to try this, trying to uh, create feet and trying to uh, convert it. So we're going to just start with that. We're just going to build, okay? So let's just follow me on this process. If you don't like the process, you don't like the journey, get to the end and see what happens. First thing we're going to do is we're going to try to parse feet into uh, an integer. So the edit feet is the input box. We're going to get, when we click the button, we're going to get the text, and then we're going to try to convert it to a string, and then we're going to try to take that string and convert it to an integer using the integer class. Capital I integer dot parse int means basically try to convert a string to an int. Not necessarily parsing is all about strings, but in this case it is. Moving along. We're going to go ahead and try it out. I'm going to go ahead and run it. Now, I already have a running device because you saw it. I just showed you. And uh, it's going to take a while because right now we're still on the old version. It's going to blank out, and then it's going to come back. Okay, it's blanked out. And then there it is, and it's going to come back in just a moment. Don't panic when you see that window. It just, it just takes a little while for it to reload. And here we go. All right, let's see what happens when you try to click the BMI when we don't enter any feet. Watch this. I click and uh, something's going on over here. And unfortunately, body mass index calculator has stopped. I just crashed it. Okay. Now, why did it crash? By the way, shows you why you want to test. The reason why it crashed is that there was nothing in edit feet. You can't get something from nothing. All right. So what are we going to do about that? Well, there's this handy little thing called uh, exception handling. We're going to do a try block. Try means we're going to try something out here. In this case, we're going to try to convert the edit feet to a string. Okay, we're going to try it. However, this means we're going to try something, and if we have a problem, in other words, we're about to crash it, we need to catch that crash. Okay, and in this case, a crash is all referred to as an exception. So we try to convert, we, we're going to catch exception. So this is part of Java. Exception just means a, it's a runtime crash is what it is. And we're going to do, we're going to catch exception, we're going to call it EX for fun. Not really, but that's one common way to do it. Interestingly enough, we're just going to put open and close brackets. We're not going to do anything about it. Um, if we don't want to. Okay, and then let's just go ahead and try it again. Here's our window again. We're going to try to get BMI. Notice I click, I see some stuff going there. Nothing's happening. Okay, that's because we did run an error. Now, I will show you one thing we can do about that error and check this out. It's a thing called toast. 
toast dot make text. I believe this is the one I want to do. I think I did that wrong. Let me just try it one more time. Uh, I want to try what's called a toast. Uh, we start by creating a context and we call it context. I'm going to do this get application context. It doesn't like it, so I'm going to do an alt enter. And I believe what that does is just add an import statement. I'm going to do a character sequence text. Whoa, Wilbur. Wilbur. Okay. And then finally, we're going to do an integer. It's, uh, I'm going to set the, call it duration. And we're going to use a toast dot length short, which means just a short amount of time. I don't even know what that is. Then we're going to do our toast. Toast equals toast dot make text context text and duration. And then finally, toast dot show. This is free of charge, by the way. All right, let's try it out again. Now we're going to see if the toast works. Yeah, toast. We're going to try to get it. Look, whoa, Wilbur. There's your toast. You see the pop-up? Let's do it again. Whoa, Wilbur. All right, so you can now use that to create little pop-up windows, which I just think is awesome. So anyway, there you go. That's what the toast looks like. There's your code. Zoom in a little bit here. Uh, it's long, but I just got this right out of the Android uh, you know, Android developers website. And of course we can say something else like there was a problem or whatever. Okay. That's how you can do a pop-up. We'll just put on here. Feet was empty. All right. So we do something like that. All right. Let's go back to our Another tool we have at our disposable at uh, disposable at our disposal is content main and we're looking at text. All right, so one of the things we want to do, the edit text, excuse me, is on edit feet, we want to make sure that they can't put in more than two digits. One, you're not going to have a negative. Two, you want to make sure that you don't um, have too many um, too many characters. So we do max length. We set it to one. And what that means is we can only have one character. So feed is just going to be one to nine. And then that really limits what we can put in there. Let's go ahead and test that out as well. So let me just zoom in on the code. That's Android call it max length equals one, just like that. Now we'll test that. Okay, now it's going to be hard for you to see, but listen to my click. I'm going to type two. You hear that clicky, click, click, click. I'm trying to type more than two, and that's all I get. And we can't do it. Okay, so max length, great way to help out your uh, input validation. Okay, next step, let's use some more code. I'm pretty much done with that part. So we're going to go back to our code here. Now, um, this really is all about making sure that, um, that it's not empty. The other thing we can do is if we try to, well, actually I'm going to wait on that. Let's do this over here. I'm going to get rid of the results. We don't need that anymore. Like so. All right. And let's get working on our code again. I'm going to move this down a little bit so you can see this. Assuming that the variable temp was correct, then um, we can check our temp. Uh, we can, sorry, did I say temperature? I meant feet. Check feet range. Sounds kind of odd. Okay, we're going to start with an if. If feet. Uh, let's try. Well, we kind of already made sure that if they left it blank, that would cause an exception. We also made sure it's only number. So I, I really think we've got it all covered with this try block. But let me just show you one thing we can do uh, in the case of our feet. Let's just say... They're not going to be two feet tall. Um, and so you're going to just put on here feet less than two, like so. And oh, we did this feet over here. 
Ooh, okay, here's part of our problem. We need to declare feet outside of the try block. Like so. Get rid of that int there. Now this feet is declared outside of the try block. We can now access it. Ugh. It's not letting me. All right, well, guess what? If it's not letting me, then we will test this out differently. Well, okay, here's what we're going to try. I'm going to set feet equals edit feet dot get text. Ah! Actually, I think we need to do it just uh, like this. You might be going, well, why are we doing this again? That's a really good question. I'm asking myself that question at this point. Um, the reason why, I guess, is that this makes sure that it doesn't crash. Now we can check for a feat is, um, well, we can do a couple things. We could do less than two or feet greater than nine, like so, because uh, I think eight feet, 10 or eight feet, 11 is like the tallest person. So we're going to do that in this range. Okay. So now we're out of range, and so we're going to create an error. So we're going to do edit feet dot. I'm going to set an error. And this allows us, well, you'll see. Out of range. And then we're going to add a little thing to results. Use plus equal, so we add on to whatever it was. Okay, this is a little bit silly. I'm not recommending you do this, but we want to test this out and see how this works. So if we are out of this range, we change our results here. We also set an error to make sure that that works. So we'll test that out. It has reloaded. Try to get BMI. Oh, it crashed it again. Oh, because it can't do this. I wonder if we can break when this happens. Nope. All right. Well, now we have some problems. I'm guessing to clean this up, I'm going to put this inside of my try block. Let's test this out. And then I'll explain. Well, while we're waiting for the thing to load, I just want to point out. So by putting it in the try block, uh, I know at this point, if it didn't cause a crash, everything is still good. So we can work now on this. So this particular part, what we're doing here is uh, we're checking feet for validation. Okay. So we try this, and then if we get this to not crash, then we make sure it's not less than two or greater than nine. And, you know, so maybe they say they're two feet tall. Uh, that's fine. We can make it less than three if we want, and that's something that's up to you. All right, we're ready to test it out. We click get BMI. Feet was empty. We try putting one get BMI out of range. And then it says results, you're either too tall or too short to be using this app. No space there, my fault. Let's try nine. Get BMI. Oh, greater than nine. So I could have put greater than or equal to nine because you can't really do 10. Anyways, but you get the idea this should be working. We'll test it one last time to make sure it is. And then we will continue on the rest of the app on my next video. But we'll see if this works first. All right, let's test it one last time. We're going to put in the number nine, get BMI out of range. You're either too tall or too short to be using this app. Now, we could have done the same thing with the toast as well if we wanted to. 
In the next video, we'll go ahead and round this out. We'll do a little bit more of the date form validation. There are some other little tiny gotchas that we need to cover. So we'll do that in the next video. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching.